Ursprung? Because, like, uh, even though a lot of people say Diddy Kong can beat Edge Guard pretty easy, I don't think that a good Diddy Kong will ever get Edge Guarded. Or, like, yeah. in the one of 1,000 times he will get Edge Guard, but that's it. Yeah, Not pre much. pretty much the only, only times when you actually can, like, totally destroy Diddy Kong's uh, recovery <laughs> is if you can predict the monkey flip uh, when they're recovering high, or if you, like, preemptively go down and try to, like, hit them before they can use their up B in a full... Uh, in fully. Yeah. <clears throat> so, let's get this crew, the crew better started. Yeah. And the venue is packed. We have a lot of people. We have a few crew battles going off stream, but here we go. Yeah. First match of the crews in uh, Battalion 2016. Team Norway versus Team Germany. And at the start, of course, Didikon will take out that banana. Now it becomes a guess, uh, kind of a mix-up game, whether or not he wants to use the banana or whether or not he wants to go for the grabs. As we all know Diddy Kong's grabs will lead into some serious punishments. Yeah, that's like his big strength. His punish camps are unbelievably strong. So you have to watch out for it. Yeah. The one thing that uh, Ilift can uh, use his advantage here is the quick attack. If he can time it out uh, in between, like Diddy Kong throwing out his banana and grabbing it, he can uh, put the pressure on Diddy Kong because he doesn't yet have his option of using the banana. So you'll be seeing that quite often, the Pikachu uh, uh, Ilif just going in with the quick attack. That yeah. pair will also be a really good spacing tool. Right now, Ryze has a pretty big lead. Oh, nice, nice banana into down tilt in this uh, forward smash. As, uh, Diddy Kong's uh, down tilt is pretty much one of his best grounded options. It leads to almost all of his uh, killing options. You can get it into a uh, up smash or a uh, forward smash. Other thing, if you get hit with the banana, you will be tr you, you'll, you'll trip, and that pretty much means an instant punish from the Diddy Kong. Now, this is not looking that good for Eilif right now. As long as the main thing is to keep your stocks, because uh, your percentage or they, they, your percentage does reset, reset so you, you, you don't have to start like 100%. But it really looks like that uh, Miles is having the... He has pretty much control, complete control of the stage. Oh, unfortunately, he couldn't uh, uh, convert from that banana throw. Nice catch from Eyelift. Miles like a bit of fishing with like the banana, like banana tripping it, uh, up smash or F smash, but Eyelift is like preventing it pretty well. Yeah, he can use Pikachu's uh, uh, good mobility to actually try to go and uh, grab the banana before Diddy can, because if you can, uh, the animation for when Diddy uh, pulls off his banana is actually quite long, and if he if he has his back on you, he will throw it towards you, so you might use that. Oh. Really good read on the ledge, just well, taking that stock pretty quick. Yeah. He moved left 90% or something. Percentage doesn't really matter. He's at 160 and he, he just took the first stop. That is oh. huge, but Miles just giving payback when it's due, just up smashing him. No, no, well, now we have a neutral situation again. Yeah, again with the dancing. Oh, with and banana, banana throws with the thunderbolts. One of the things that when you're play, playing against Diddy Kong is that. How good is your game with the uh, banana? Because uh, Diddy Kong is one of the only characters that actually has an item. So it can be really weird because you're not used to using the item. So a lot of people just end up throwing it away or upwards so that Diddy Kong can't uh, use it. Because Diddy Kong, can only ha there can only be one banana uh, out in the field. So if you can get it away from Diddy Kong, he cannot summon another one until the first one is gone. But nice combos here from Miles, really getting the advantage with the banana. Uh, Again with this high percentage lead. Yeah, but as we saw in the first talk, that doesn't really mean anything if you can't secure this uh, kill. You have, to, you have to kill Pikachu pretty quickly, then Pikachu uh, lost, uh, loses range, so rage. Yeah. That means he, he's, he probably lived a, a bit longer than last time. Oh, unfortunately mistake by uh, I left. I think he wanted to go for the thunderstorm, but it did, did it way too late. I yes. think he, he, he didn't jump, also he, 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 uh, he, yeah, he forgot the jumping input, or he yeah. was like a bit too, too fast for it. But now it's really important for him to get the stock to even situation, because you don't want to leave, give your opponent too much of a uh, lead. One stock lead is usually uh, Pretty the okay. best, because when your next, uh, next teammate comes in, he just has to take that one stock and then you're uh, starting from completely even situation. But you get counter picks, so it's not yeah. that great. But Hopefully he's taking that, that second stock, but it's not too bad for Team Norway, but, that they can like even it out in the, uh, with the next player. Yeah. 
But bad luck. Actually, actually not going for a uh, complete punish because uh, after the banana you can just go for a uh, quick smash. Uh, yeah. It seems that Myers really wants to get a bit of a more uh, percentage get going on and then converting from a down tilt into a smash attack. Right now Myers is playing extremely safe. He's not risking anything, but he's actually dying like a fortunate fast again. Yeah. He, I think he will look like for a banana throw a smash again and hopefully we'll get his, uh, the kill right away. Yeah. Oh, and there it comes. Yes. Yeah. That is the power of Diddy Kong. One stray uh, down tilt and you're out of it. That's a pretty good start for Team Germany. Or yeah. Team Ma Mafia Dore. Uh, Mafia Dore, yes. A actually, but now they, have, they only lost one stock, uh, but and Norway lost three. So the next player ha have to take two stocks of Miles and hopefully he doesn't lose uh, two of his own. Or, yeah. Ho yeah. Hopefully he's losing not of none of his own, but which, which will be really hard. Because his Miles is pretty good. Yeah, the stock count is definitely in Team uh, Germany's favor. Right now, especially because uh, there aren't really like complete and total counter, counter stages for Diddy Kong. Lilith is one of one that usually Diddy Kong players ha don't like. Yeah. But there's nothing like, okay, this stage is completely against you. Yeah. So unfortunately, again, I haven't really followed the Norway scene. Apologies for that, but I do not uh, know this player's name. So we will be waiting for uh, Liva to give us some information. Oh, it's actually Snarsen coming in. I'm actually pretty certain that both teams will be saving their heavy hitters for the last matchup. Yeah. It's and Toon Link against Diddy Kong, okay? Which I believe is kind of risky because Toon Link is not like top tier, as he's not like one of the best, but I believe he can do quite solo when it's Diddy Kong. Yeah, it, it really does depend how well he can, uh, because uh, Toon Link's projectile game is better than uh, Diddy Kong, in my opinion, so he could just create a wall of projectiles, slowly uh, take percentage away from uh, Miles and then securing the kills, but right now we can see that just creating a wall of projectiles is not easy against a character like Diddy Kong who can just rush you down. Yeah. Because to become a pretty aggressive character, too like most likely that defensive, so you have to like uh, you have to play his defensive game on point against the Kong, because otherwise you will get rushed down and you uh, will lose probably. On the same time, the uh, kind of a weird factor is that he can't really play completely defensive because he has to take stocks. Yeah. So you have to go for kindness, but Tooling is still a pretty, uh, he has pretty strong kill moves like his up air. It's, it's a pretty long uh, move. Uh, it's pretty long outside and you can kill surprisingly fast. Yeah, and especially if uh, Snazen's uh, bomb throwing is on point, he can get uh, confirmed from his bomb throws into those kill moves, which is the uh, main selling point of uh, Tooling's projectile game. Yeah. Like bomb to up throw, bomb to up smash or something like this, yeah. which can be pretty dangerous sometimes. Yeah. Now let's see how will he... Oh, he has the bomb in hand. That's always a uh, Toon Link and Link uh, main thing. When you're off stage, just grab that bomb. If your uh, up B gets uh, stopped, you can just uh, make use of the explosion and then try again. Yeah. So right now, Mites again has a pretty big uh, percent, like 60%. But Toon Link is in rage and probably Ooh. can. No, yeah, no, I'm not, not, not going to kill, but that does make, uh, bring the uh, percentage to a yeah. more even situation. And right now, yes. A smash yeah. attack will connect and will take the KO. And right now Miles have to take when the next are pretty fast because uh, Tooling has rage and he can kill yeah. you pretty uh, pretty early. Yeah. As, as long as uh, Snazen gets a rough amount of percentages, yes, this will be really hard. And this is one of the points because technically it's not the worst case scenario if Snazen loses a stock but then uh, takes Miles' as one. It's not what they want, but it's not yet a situation that's like a really big deficit. Yeah. And because of uh, Toon Link's high percentages, I think that not all of uh, Diddy Kong's actual conversions work at this point. Yeah. Like his down throw, uh, his up throw up air will pro uh, probably not connect at all. Yeah, that's way out of the uh, league, but... All right, now throw. 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 Yeah. Oh, nice. I wasn't really sure whether or not that would kill right now, but yeah. yeah. The thing is, Diddy Kong, if you get hit by his banana, you might either take a uh, down tilt into a smash or just grab and throw it away. Yeah. A right now the grab was uh, extremely perfect because it was like on the edge of the stage and on like 170 or something, the uh, tuning dies yeah. from his F's throw. Yeah, so it was like a safer option because on like up smash, you can probably like smash the out or something. But, but, but the strong last hit from the up smash doesn't connect. Mm, that is a possibility. That's why uh, Mars 
you can see that he is a proficient Digicon because he's just maximizing his own potential and minimizing the amount he has to do for taking those stocks. So right now, if, if Mars can take this one more stock from Snazen, that would be a really big advantage to Team Germany over here. Yeah, because of the next player from Team Germany, can like take this stock from Snazen pretty early without, without losing his. But, uh, Team Germany has a pretty big lead from three stocks, yeah. which is kind of hard to come back from. Yeah, especially since in our uh, tournament we have three stocks per player, that's like one player advantage already. Yeah. So right now Snazen tries. Oh, all right. <laughs> I was. I, I wanna say he tries to keep a banana from Diddy Kong. Then Diddy, that Diddy Kong cousin can use his own. But he was drowning at the moment. So. Really good pressure here from Mars. Actually, just just not letting Snazen uh, rest at all. And oh, if I'm, if I'm Miles taking the stock gets now pr pr pretty uh, quick, then he probably can win uh, uh, the, the, the match at all. No, not gonna take that stock yet, but the next smash will be taking yeah. it. The, the next up, up switch will kill. Oh, bro, bro, actually, no, no not no. yet. You need like 150. Yeah, 160. Yeah. But again, uh, Mars is forcing Snazen out, outside from the center of the stage so that he has uh, less of a distance to the blast zones for the kills. Yeah. Ooh, unfortunate missing put uh, over there from Snazen. I believe that would have done a lot of damage to that forward smash if, if that connected. I mean, if he had went for the uh, forward smash, I think he wanted to go for. <laughs> oh, Zerson trying to go for the Zer grab, but no, nope, they're gonna get it, get it unfortunately. The, the, the pressure on Mayat is making right now is pretty hard because he, he normally tries to take tuning off the stage or like on the edge from the stage, stage and then where he, where he has like the, the, the stage positioning. He needs and the roll to end up smash. That was pretty good, so. Right now, Snazen has to take the stock pretty fast because otherwise he could lose his third stock and might yeah. only lose one. The bad thing here for Snazen is that the like the mental situation is that oh sh oh oh damn we're losing. I'm not in a good situation. I need to get this stock fast, and that's not a uh, mindset you want to be in, especially for a like uh, projectile-based character like uh, Toonlink. You don't want to rush. You need to keep a cool head, calm head. Yeah. So right now he should just keep this projectile uh, wall and just build up percentage slowly. When uh, two, uh, Diddy Kong uh, approaches like 100, then he should start um, going a bit harder on his punishes. Because at that point, like up smash will be approaching KO percentage. And then he can like kill him with like a bomb up smash or something. Right now, I probably I think he can't kill him. That's why he has to take the, the projectile pressure pretty hard on Diddy Kong. Otherwise, it will be pretty hard. Yeah, but Miles has been on fire in this crew yeah. battle. He's already taken five stocks by himself. About maybe even about to take his sixth stock over here and giving Team Germany a massive lead here. Oh, that could have been maybe an up, up air. Who knows? Or oh, pretty good reach with a pivot F tilt. Oh. Getting the reverse hitbox on that ball with it. Oh. Ah, uh, good this beat. This oh, is a yes, oh. that's it. All right. Snazen finally takes out Miles. Took two of Miles' strikes, uh, but loses two of his own as well. Yeah. Well, Miles brought, uh, did a pretty good job with it, uh, with his game and the crew battle. He took five stocks for free, which is incredibly well. And right now, Team Germany is standing judge. I believe he's a Captain Falcon player. Mm. So Captain Falcon, I believe, is a pretty good match against Toon Link because he's, uh, he's incredibly yeah. fast and can, and can kill super early. Yeah. So It's kind of a double-edged sword. It depends on whether or not which one can get the pressure because if Toon Link can establish that wall, it can be really hard for Falcon to get through that. Especially since like up till from uh, Toon Link at like 0% combos into itself and that's like an automatic 30% or something. Yeah. Because of Captain Falcon's uh, uh, weight and fall speed, the com 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 yeah. Th those <laughs> combined just makes it so that he's, he's just combo food for pretty much everybody. But on the other hand, if Captain Falcon can get in and can get those hard reads and can get those edge oh. cards... I'm sorry, it's Cloud. Oh well, this changed the situation. <laughs> now we have two swordsmen. Other one's sword is way bigger. <laughs> the other one has limit charge, which means that... Toonling cannot really just like passively throw items. He has to because when uh, Cloud gets his limits, that's gonna be really scary. That's why I think Cloud is a pretty good choice right now. Also, actually, Cloud is a pretty good character in Crew Battle because of his charts. Yeah. 
then because you can like in the clutch situations his his zombie will kill pretty early and then it's then it's always a, a stock uh, advantage for for his team. So I, I think it's a pretty good choice. Yeah. The only thing that can uh, backfire with this choice is if the uh, other team uh, has a counter for Cloud. Because Cloud has some uh, uh, things that can be exploited, like his recovery. But that's a topic for the next uh, yeah. next few battles. But right yeah. now, just Judge going in. Not really caring about uh, the projectiles, because if Tuli just goes for those projectiles, he can just charge his limits. And it hasn't been like maybe a one, two minutes, and he already has the full limit. Oh, actually. That was pretty interesting with the upbeat choice from his limit right yeah, now. Because that, you don't usually see that move often because it's <laughs> always you want to use a better suited. Yeah, but uh, that up B, limit up B can actually get kills, especially in situations like that where Snazen was at the like, uh, like kind of really high up. He has surprising a uh, KO potential, a nice fair coming out from Judge just driving uh, Snazen off out of the uh, stage. Right now, Judge is a pretty big uh, percentage of like nearly 100. Like the next smash, or, or maybe like, or, or like the next limit move will be 100. percent Oh, that was actually really good. He waited. He noticed that he had the bomb in hand. He yeah. wanted to check whether or not throwing up and just exploiting the explosion of it could kill. Oh, he again tries for up with the mid charge, mm. which I believe is what in this situation wasn't the best choice. Maybe he could have uh, waited for it. I use yeah. it later with, with, with like a, uh, for like a side B. Yeah, because right now side B will most definitely kill. Uh, yeah. the uh, of course, the limit charge wears the version. But this isn't this isn't over for Snazen. He's been building. Cloud is already at uh, eighty percent, and yeah. Rage is pretty much maxed out for Snazen. So getting a few hard, few a bit more damage, and one of those up airs can actually end up taking the stop. Yeah. Ah, uh, the, the back air, unfortunately for Team yeah. Norway. There comes back air, just uh, sniping that landing on the highest platform, and at that percentage, you're not going to survive with Toon Link. Yeah. So exactly. right now, Team Germany has three stocks lead, which will be no, uh, which is pretty big. So Team Norway has to play like now on the point that they can't make any mistakes anymore, because otherwise, where I believe it, it doesn't have a chance anymore. Unless they have that magical last man standing comeback, destroying yeah. the other team completely. But against the team of T uh, Team Germany's caliber, I I highly doubt the possibility of that. Because like in Team Germany, there's like Zodrex, so I I don't believe that like someone is so good, uh, in the Nobel crew is so good that they can like I think like three stock Zodrex. Because yeah, he right now is like, uh, the best player in Germany, so mm. it would be incredibly hard. So we have Volafar coming in from Team Norway. That leaves them with Bach and Wiaze. On the other hand, we still have a l almost a whole crew from Team Germany, including Sobrek. Yeah. Do you know the, uh, which character he's playing? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's something we will find out later. Yeah. Right what now. do you think, uh, which character should they pick in? Hello. Use against Cloud. What, what's pretty hard against Cloud? Pretty good. It really depends because uh, Cloud has sort of matchups that Yoshi. kind of depend on. Oh, Yoshi. Yoshi against Cloud. Yoshi, a pretty strong character in this game. Yeah, uh, he has options, but he does have a few weaknesses. But I can see like using X to pressure and uh, just abusing the fact that Yoshi's double jump is really good, and he can just go uh, off stage. Maybe get a quick near in and uh, just destroy Cloud's recovery. Or like Cloud's, uh, or like Yoshi's back has a pretty long, uh, long hitbox outside as well, so which can give Cloud pretty easily as well. Yeah. He could also uh, just uh, as a uh, defensive tool because his double jump has that super armor. He could be using that to like escape uh, Cloud's uh, upper strings, for example. Yeah. And I think uh, Yoshi's near traits. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's not that uh, in disadvantage against uh, Cloud's up air, which is like Cloud's best move almost. So many moves just lose to up B. That's why you see those long and uh, damaging juggles from uh, Cloud players. Yeah. They just up air, up air. Right up is pretty good. It's a pretty good hitbox. It's pretty big, pretty long. And 
like the, he, it's not hitting too hard away that he can juggle it easily. Oh, Ooh, incredibly nice. read by Judge. Uh, actually getting the kill. I wasn't really sure whether or not that would kill, but there you go. Judge just taking on in stocks. Yeah. Incredible read for, for, for Judge there. Yeah. Take, taking the stock from Yoshi incredibly fast, so... This will put him in a pretty good situation because Yoshi doesn't have rage anymore and he will probably survive pretty uh, longer, which means he can make more percentage to Yoshi. Mm. And of course, Cloud. Um, what did I, yeah, he almost has his limits already. Yeah. That's how efficient you can, uh, you can be with that charge. Just pressuring your opponent, getting those few uh, large powerful hits, and then just charging. And right now, uh, on the edge of the stage, and uh, limit side B is starting to get really dangerous. Yeah. And considering uh, Yoshi's recovery, it might not even be that. Oh, trying to go for that uh, another side B kill, but just missing it slightly. Judge is again in this match. He's making a pretty good job, even though uh, on Yoshi's uh, second stock, he has already put in 74 percent. Oh, Ooh. nice use of the upgrade. Creative just recovery. Just coming down with that because that's actually a really uh, gutsy move because if you can just perfect shield uh, Cloud when he comes down with that up. Wow, that kid super fast. Maybe a bit of a questionable DI from yeah. Lorna, but I mean, this is rage. <laughs> if you are standing on the edge of the uh, uh, stage, prepare to die in the, those percentages when your opponent is almost at... Oh, the jab could have actually led to some kind of a KO move. Touch right now is incredibly big lead. Uh, 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 well, he's taking two stocks from Bullifar's Yoshi's and uh, wasn't even losing one of his own. Which is incredibly, uh, yeah, was incredibly impressive. Yeah, because right now, a Judge already has, uh, quote unquote, done his job. So he, ha he doesn't have to like think about it, oh, I need to do more, I, I have to take stocks. He has already like eliminated one player, taken two stocks. And he's nearly killing Yoshi again without losing one stock of his own. This can be incredibly bad from Team Norway if he's yeah, losing the side the B will well. kill right now. Yeah. You have to oh, that's it. Oh. A free stock from Judge. And right now, Team Germany has six stock leads. Yeah, that's the one of the best uh, uh, qualities about that uh, limit uh, side B. It lasts so long, and the last hit is the strong one. So you can you can just like throw it out, and if your opponent goes for a uh, ledge attack or a just normal get up, yeah, you usually catch them before they can do anything. Oh my, this is looking quite grim for Team Norway right now. But they still have two players. Right now they're sending in a Pikachu. Oh, another... Hmm, lots of Pikachus in this match. Didn't I'm quite really surprising to, to see two Pikachus in one crew. Because normally you don't, don't see Pikachu players that often. Yeah, and usually when you have crew battles, uh, you don't want to have uh, like two or three of the same character because that limits your matchup spread. For example, if they have two Pikachus, what if they have a hard counter Pikachu? That's almost like two characters you're going to lose almost automatically. Yeah. But here we go, uh, off to uh, actually the final destination here. He doesn't want to give any like uh, hiding spots in uh, uh, those platforms for Cloud. On the other hand, he really loses his own quick attack cancels on the ledges of platforms. So we'll have to see how this uh, counter pick uh, goes for. Probably he's here. scared of the uh, cloud juggle because that in, in the last game he was juggling incredibly well. Yeah. Always getting the, the second or third up air. So but I think that's why he's picking final destination because he doesn't have a platform uh, where he could land on or he would have landed on. Yeah. For the pressure, but Judge again with a pretty good start, already 50% lead. Oh, Ooh. nice actually bait from Bajo, but just uh, uh, acting like he's gonna come in with that nair and just pulling back and just making Judge yeah. waste that limit. Yeah. That but still, he, he's in a bad, bad spot, he's at the edge. Yeah. Oh, nice back throw. He, is, he managed to get the, a lot of that pressure away from him. But he still needs to be careful because those heavy hitting uh, areas like... And Red. unfortunate quick attack. Again, without no uh, way to cancel that, you will uh, suffer the end lag. And Judge was ready for that. Just charging his down smash and ending that stock. Yeah. Again, a pretty, pretty good start. Judge like, already uh, was taking four stocks and not even losing one of his own. Yeah. 
Yeah. If this is going like this again, like this will be incredibly bad for Team Norway. Yeah, and especially in this situation because all he needs to do is rack up a bit, a bit damage and then he has that side B again yeah. on deck, ready to kill. Or who knows, maybe he might go in even for a, uh, a down B uh, mix-up or a read and just trying to yeah. end, end the stock in style. Maybe he is, maybe he is. But right now, Bach just needs to get this first kill ASAP. He, he can't let a judge live any longer. He can't really afford taking percentage either. But look at that, he's just forced to forced to uh, shield. And of course, judge is just gonna grab him. Yeah, he can. I think Bach is a, a bit scared because of, of the limit. Because one limit move will kill you right away. Yeah, you can especially see that on the let's get ups because he saw. Mm. Oh, nice punish! Unfortunately, a mistake for Judge, but incredibly good punish for Bach that he could take the stock from Judge. Yeah. Good recognition of the situation, just realizing, okay, he used that he's most likely trying to get behind me so that I can't punish. I'm just gonna turn around and add smash. Yeah. Esmash has an incredibly good hitbox. It even goes a bit for, uh, it got uh, pretty long, which uh, covers a lot, like the ledge option he had. Yeah. That's pretty good. Dutch right now is uh, still uh, in a rather dominant position here. Yeah. Always uh, getting Pikachu off the stage. Uh, but uh, on an uh, unfortunate situation for Pikachu, which he is. Yeah. The best situation. Oh Ooh. no, that's going to be punished. Yeah. yeah. And Judge made the uh, correct uh, move. He didn't waste his limits yet. Yeah. He realized, okay, you're still in percentages to die from my down smash, so I'm just gonna use that, save my limits, uh, rack up some damage, and then uh, just uh, pressure you with the uh, fact that I, ha I still have my limits. Yeah. Because in the last few stocks, you could see that uh, Bach maybe actually just remembered how what happened to his teammate. The two times he just uh, did a normal get up and immediately shielded, just being afraid of that uh, immediate side B on it. Yeah. Oh no. Um, yeah, that's that's uh, actually gonna kill up. Wow. Pikachu is a light character, but still, killing from the other side. Judge, Judge is on a roll. Yeah, he is on fire. He's taking six star from Team Norway and only loses one. And now we have the gatekeeper, the last man standing for Team Norway. We have We Are This is gonna be interesting. I do believe he plays. Re yeah, re I heard that. Real? A pretty good character in this game. Pretty strong, can yeah. kill you surprisingly uh, fast. Especially because uh, uh, I've seen we as a play, he's actually really good with his up tilt conversions. He can just start jab uh, up tilting cloud and just end it with a sure you can and just bye bye stop. Yeah. But it's still really, really uh, a bad situation. We as a, he has to take. 11 stocks <laughs> With only without three losing three in the process yeah, and here we go the last man standing let's see how far can he push this yeah will he bring his crewmates back or and he is the last hope for team norway with you but you said he's like the best player from team norway so let's see if you can, can you put everything back Let's see how much that trust is going to uh, take. And here yeah. we go. An incredibly good start from him. A pretty good jug and with like a 64% start. And can he get the shore? You can. No, doesn't want to go for it. Realizing that it might not miss. Oh, that's always good when you make uh, Cloud use his limit for recovery. Because yeah. then he can't kill you with it as surprisingly fast. Yeah. But again, here we see Judge's proficiency with the limit. He already has like one third of it charged. Okay, one fourth. <laughs> <laughs> but on the other hand, he draw a true show you can would, will kill at this percent, I think, especially since we're in town and city. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, nice back, back air. And that doesn't kill. Yeah, that. No, he actually managed to get the uh, limit. Yeah. Really good uh, recognition from uh, Judge, realizing, okay, I need to charge my limit. That's my only option, and he got it. That's pretty good. Let's see what he can make with it. Right. Oh. Getting some hits started. Yeah. One of the things that's uh, unique things that Ryu has is his focus attack. But for example, uh, Judge can just immediately punish that. Oh, actually getting the back hit of the Tatsumaki, but not killing yet. Oh, Ooh, and wow! <laughs> Judge, that getting a bit stylish. 
That, that was, was definitely on purpose. That was incredibly good. That was good because every stock you can take from We Are That is a benefit right now. On the other hand, he may have been able to take that, but I don't think anybody would have been ready to that for that situation. Like, okay, he's gonna just suicide me. Yeah. That was a pretty good choice, even in the crew match, so that, that he's taking that one stock from Viase and losing the one from his own is pretty good for him because his, his crew has a pretty big lead. Yeah. So, yeah. Right now, 2 to 10 stocks. I'm not saying it's impossible, it's just really, really unlikely that he's gonna make it. Yeah, right now it doesn't seem too well, yeah. be because Team Germany still has Sword Drag. Yeah. Like, Germany's gatekeeper. Indeed, and still a few characters. Oh! Punish? Yes! Ooh. No, well, no, actually killing! Well, good. Yeah. One of the reasons why he wanted to this stage, because that Trusher Yugen will yeah, just kill earlier. But really good performance, and look at this, look oh. at this. Who'd be ready for that, <laughs> to actually send you that way? Usually when uh, uh, Cloud comes back down with the up B, it's an immediate spike. Yeah. But now it's like... There's really no way you'd be ready for that. Yeah, right now Team Germany is putting in Sodrak. Oh, actually sending the uh, gatekeeper right yeah. now. Because when like nothing can get wrong or something, like like the, the best player can uh, handle the situation like the best. Because mm. there's n we have nothing to risk that. There's like no one who can counter Sodrak right now. Yeah, and but on the other hand, when you just realize it that they still have Sodrak and two others. If all of them take one stock, that still yeah. leaves one character, one guy, completely not used. Yeah. But you can you can see it from from Wias's uh, face. It's like, <laughs> yeah, well, here we are. Let's ride this train as far as we can. <laughs> I think he wasn't ready for this situation. That you have to uh, take this situation mm. like this hard. That yet he needs to carry it incredibly hard right now. Yeah. So Drake just getting that complete tag, PM. <laughs> so Drake, do you have anything else you want to add <laughs> to that? Combo controls as well. Yeah, that's always uh, important. <laughs> so what? So it's like the novice matchup, Rio and Fox. What stage do you believe they're playing on? Uh, Battlefield. There are some options because, I mean, even uh, Battlefield. Yeah, Battlefield. <laughs> I was saying that even Final Destination wouldn't be that bad because you can just laser. Yeah, but I know for a fact that Zodrick loves the stage. Yeah. Like oh, okay, that would make sense. He, he will always pick it. Like, he, he's just, it's just his stage, I believe, so he, he's loving it. And Fox is pretty good on it as well. This is his home stage. Yeah. I want to see whether or not Zodrick wants to go get a bit cheeky and go for those uh, forward uh, footstool uh, finishers because. To be honest, right now, Team Germany can kind of go for like more style and than uh, practicality because they have to take two stocks. Of course, yeah. I'm not saying that we also won't punish that, but when you have nine stocks that you can use... Oh! Is this... No. Unfortunately, he couldn't get uh, back uh, down for the uh, second Firefox and punish that because I think if he managed to get a spike on that, it might have actually ended him uh, a quick stock loss from Sodrek. I think, as you said, the Zodrek is kind of fishing for the uh, fair uh, footstool combo. We're almost getting that back here from that up tilt. But Zodrek is putting in pretty good work. Only on 30, 41% and uh, we are say, uh, it's like on 110. So he probably will lose the stock uh, pretty soon. Yeah. One of the things that Zodrek has to uh, uh, be afraid of is that up tilt. Fox is one of those characters just can't pretty much escape that at all. Yeah, because he's incredibly heavy. Oh, then oh. that's going to be punished. Nice up there. Just realizing that, okay, sure, Yuken was popped. Yeah. He's vulnerable. Yeah, let's just get him. Now we are on this last stock, and he have to he have to take nine of Germany's yeah. stocks. The last stand starts now yeah. from the team Norway over here. But let's see, because I think that... Uh, oh, no. Oh, oh. Thankfully, the uh, up B from Ryu hits from below the stage because that could have ended up really bad for him. Yeah. But right now, it's... Oh, can you get anything from that? And here we go, and that... Oh! oh. Unfortunate miss from Weazo over there. That would have been a end of uh, end of the uh, Sodex first stock. Now, let's see what oh, he can he go there. for. Oh. Yeah, he's fishing up for those up tilts. Nice oh, uh, read on that air dodge. And does the back air come? 
Oh, okay. He's just he wants to get that. Uh, oh, nice. This should be it. And you can be oh, Kobe. Just acting like this is melee uh, all of a sudden. Styling on and you. unfortunately, when you do, do try to style on Wii yeah. you you're more than likely gonna pay for that block. Mm. Immediate, immediate yeah. a counter attack. Up air combo from Sawdrag. Totally eliminating uh, Team Norway. Yeah. With, I believe, eight stocks leads a pretty big good win. Yeah, that is dominating. That is really dominating. Mafia Dore showing us that they're here to win. Yeah, like Miles and Judge were putting, uh, were putting in so much work. Miles, I believe, took five stocks, Judge seven or something, a, 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 lot, a lot. Well, Se they pretty much took like half yeah. of the one. Like, they, they left Wiazza with like <laughs> two stocks and. <laughs> yeah. Again, Salt Rack. It was pretty much over at this point. Yeah, so. so so the first win of the tournament, I do believe the second crew battle is still going on. So the first Mac, the first win, uh, win, one win goes for <laughs> Team uh, Germany over here. Stay, yeah, stay tuned. We're gonna have a small break, and then we'll be back with some awesome crew battles. Yeah. See you in a bit.